These are athletes, combat athletes. In the civilian world, so you think of D1 sports, pro sports, have athletic trainers. They have them for a reason. They're there to take care of the injuries, to make sure everybody's ready and resilient. Having an athletic trainer on staff can decrease injury wait time from four weeks to two weeks, depending on what it is. We're available to catch it quick, and we're bridging that gap of injury to Navy medicine. Anytime I receive a patient, I think of it as me getting not only a patient, but a student. I'm getting someone who's hurt, they want to know what's going on with them, they want to know what they can do to prevent that from getting worse and prevent it from happening again. So when I get them, I put them through the initial eval, we'll figure out what I think is going on, have a diagnosis, and then we'll develop a treatment plan around that particular diagnosis. Um, and what my main goal is when I'm taking them through all the rehabilitation and whatever we're doing in here is educating them on why we're doing what we're doing and what it's for. Both of my athletic trainers anyway have shown just a tremendous amount of interest in the Marine Corps, how we're structured, how we work, uh, what, what our day-to-day -day jobs are. They've shown a keen interest in that and they want to find ways to contribute even in ways we probably haven't thought of yet. And so I think having an open mind and seeking opportunities, uh, both in education, in hands-on treatment, every aspect of, of physical readiness is open to, uh, uh, to your imagination with the athletic trainers.